Oh crap, maybe I'll film him getting pissed off. Hi, George. No, not working. No, maybe no. We can yeah. lift up, make it easier on you. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Why is the ramp acting up? <laughs> But not too heavy. Just perfect. You had to say something, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. George, yeah. I'm gonna take a wash and break at Sean to see if that's fine. Because I'm on with you to 6:30, so. Yeah. This ramp's been really bad today. It doesn't want to go. Well, that's uh, that's really See, it starts, then it just stops. The oil's knocked out of it, maybe. When the oil gets, um, when there's no oil in them, they get worse and worse. Yeah, they do, yeah. Did you use the ramp the last time you had this bus? Uh, just for you. Huh? Just for you. Yes. Yeah. So, um, the last time, because the last time you had this one, I wasn't out, so. You did really well. You showed up at 53, which is rare. How was the one kid, uh, the kids today or whatever? Uh, no, it was actually good. A lot of them, because it's so cold, they jumped on the first bus. Yeah. 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 Ye
Because you know last Friday night when I got off with you, I checked on Saturday morning, 14, they were all big buses. But during the sign-up, they can change the size of the bus because the signs of the bus have to change. The yeah, but they can't screw around with the time, no, right? No, that's right. Not, not the time. Oh. Could you do? Could you do it if you wanted? But I mean, that would confuse all drivers. Well, yeah, so it's a change. Yeah, it's a change. So it confuse the passengers even more. Yeah, oh yeah. That... If they know a bus is showing up at 4 o'clock and one of the drivers says, well, it changed, I'm like, what the heck? No one told me. Yeah, no. I, I talked to Transit on Twitter and they didn't email me back. That's what they'll be doing. Right. On Transit's Twitter feed, getting after Transit because they changed the time suddenly. <coughs> yeah. Didn't you drive? You drove that bus in the big snowstorm we had a couple months back, George. Which one? That one right there. That's on 11. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's about you to I'm going there for a uh, milkshake tomorrow. Oh, is this weather? Like it has something hot. Get a hot milkshake. There you go. Yeah, hot milkshake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that wouldn't taste very good. No, they won't do it. Can't say, can you eat this milkshake? No, 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 no. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, they say it'll just give you a hot chocolate. <laughs> do they sell hot chocolate there? I don't know if they do or not. No. No. I know Tim Hortons and Starbucks uh, do. Have you been there in a long time? Uh, Tim Hortons and Starbucks? Yeah. No, I haven't been there forever. Well, there are places that are clean, like Starbucks is supposed to be coffee. I'm not too interested in that. Uh, Tim Hortons, well, it's okay, but it's not the place to sit in the restaurant. Tim Hortons is really good for my really good. I find Tim Hortons, you can sit down in it, but it's a more of a takeout drive through stop. Yeah. Kind of like McDonald's and Dairy Queen. Labels are small, it's kind of self-served, yeah. That's okay. It's a good franchise. If you and me go somewhere with Cliff, I would rather go to a restaurant. That's right, And yeah. sit down. Oh, yeah, sit here. That's what I enjoy. We can eat and talk. That's right. It pretty much stopped snowing, eh? Yeah. It's snowing ever so slightly now. Anything else? 
anything wrong with this bus rather than the ramp or no? Uh, yeah. Does your um, driver's side window close? Uh, yeah. yeah, so yeah, you're not... That's fine. It's just the mirror. Outside, left hand mirror. Okay. This is really good on takeoff. Yeah. That's very rare where you have four minutes to sit at Fish Creek. Get this, we were on a shuttle today and a guy pushed the stop button too late because he was so focused on his phone. Oh, okay. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's she right. had to let him off. At, uh, he had, the driver had to let him off at the light. Oh, okay. Have you not had to stop a lot today? Are you going through all the lights? Because you never get here at all at 53 very often, yeah, Mike. No, I, I hit quite a few lights from Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Once you do that, you're okay. Wow, because you, when you're doing at 53, you're never normally, you know. You no, know that's right. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. They can lift up. George, did you get to have a break yet? When we pull into Shaughnessy, we'll, I'll just be a few minutes. I don't want to make you late, that's why I'm always quick. But if you were getting, like, if everything was normal, then I would have to hurry. But you don't really care, eh? Which is good, especially now. You can get back on time with this bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's totally George, it's light for this time of night. Yeah, it really is. It's Oh, George, guess what? I'm coming out an extra day this week since it's your retirement, oh, okay. you know, on Friday. Right. So you'll see me tomorrow. Okay. But I mean, it's gonna be in the evening. Like, it may not be till like 5.30, eh? I'll do one trip with you. Yeah, right. I'll do 5.30. Uh, 5.30 to 6.30 with you. Yeah, right.
from this bus left the garage. The same gra same time every morning for So that's what almost If this is due at 33 that's like just over 20 hours, isn't it? Uh yeah, oh yeah, that's right, yeah. I wonder why, you know what, I thought the biggest lineup at the garage would be after rush hours. to give it a fresh load of diesel for the next day, right? Yeah, I'll wash it, not it. Not and a fresh few hundred gallon, uh, a few hundred liters of diesel. Yeah, and wash her fluid. You gotta check everything. They must check the antifreeze level after it comes back to the garage every box. So they get maintenance all the time, it's just, you know, they have one maintenance day a year, but they always check it, right? So they have one major checkup a year, but they have to check everything all the time. Yeah. Plus, if there's any indication of some type of problem, it's got to be pulled offline. Especially if it's an engine problem or coolant leak, oil. do the same thing with the shuttle buses as well. Right. Check everything out, right? Yeah, yeah any vehicle. Even private vehicles for people old. Everything else wants to love. Especially our really old shuttles that have over 600,000 plus on them. George, for example, I wanted to ask you if you had a shuttle, when, uh, what kilometer wise would you let it go until? 500,000? Yeah, about that. Um, well, depends. These shuttles that they have out now, yeah. they really should be checked out a little bit less than that. But there's one like 1832 I told you has 625,000 now, so. Yeah, but they might have checked it out like that 350,000 or so. Yeah. But yeah. that's almost 300,000 kilometers later if it gets to 650. Yeah, that's right. So if you had the shuttle, you wouldn't let it go any more than 500? And smaller motor, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, on a smaller motor, you don't have 
you driven 7829, the generation before this? I know you told me you driven 7729, I'm pretty sure, right? Isn't it crazy 7700 three days in a row? Yeah. And then now back to these, eh? So what would you say the lineup is at 12.30 at 12.30 a.m. at VP for buses? How long? Yeah. Oh man, that could stretch easy for a good kilometer. Really? That long, yeah, eh? Yeah, I used to go back to the garage back in the early 80s and go back to uh, the fifth time of VP. Oh man, sometimes at uh, VP. Uh, on a Friday night or something. Yeah, man. Yeah. You can do that line up. You can get that line up one minute to half an hour. Really, eh? Yeah, yeah this way. Probably uh, after rush hour, it's even worse. Uh, yeah, that's right. Rush hour is crazy. Not for getting buses back in, but getting buses out for rush hour. Uh, yeah. Yeah, what were you gonna say, I... What if it's storming, right, and it's cold, then yeah. it makes it even worse. Yeah, that's right. I saw that happen, I remember once for sure, and I think that's the point. The bus broke down right at the turbox, so the turbox, or almost at the turbox. Must have been a jimmy, eh, that quit? I can't remember. It's a long time ago. It was in the 80s, though, eh? Uh, yeah. Because what what is all you had? The Jimmies and O'Ryan. That's right. I'm thinking it's one of these that I remember. Them Jimmies were good. They didn't break down a lot, though. No. When the brakes locked up on them, though, you were screwed. Yeah. It's funny how the culture of the buses, you know, culture has changed. You went from Jim Orion's to 500 and 400 series. Flyers to Jimmy's to MCI's to 7500's all the way up to 84 
600 Nova natural gas buses now. Wow. You had your 76s, you have your 77, 78, 79, 80, 100s, and all your Excelsiors. Wow. Calgary Transit's used thousands and thousands of about hundreds of thousands of buses over the years. And don't remember, remember the trolley buses? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I was on one in 1964 in Calgary. Uh, 65. Uh, 1965. Did you tell me Vancouver is still operating them? Yeah, that's where they are, yeah. If we, uh, you know, if, if we ever decided to go anywhere, you know, wouldn't that be awesome if we got to go on one together? Film the trolley bus for my channel. It's something I don't get to, you know. That would be nice. Vancouver Aquarium too. Aquarium, eh? You've heard of that one? It's quite big. Oh, did they close uh, it now, though? Right now, yeah. No, I mean, curious. Didn't they shut that down? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that would be great if we could do that someday. That would be awesome. It would, yeah. We would be living like kings, though, wouldn't we? Uh, you, you get what I mean? No, I don't. We would be living like kings. That means the high life, George. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, my mom used to do that. Mom. Yeah. I thought you meant we'd be living in some big. And there's a term, there's a term for eating lots of food. He's like, I'm like, that's a meal fit for a king. That's right, yeah. We're living right on the hog. Yeah, that's right. Those are old things. The only thing we would have to do is coordinate, like, you know, when I got off of flights, they have my wheelchair ready for me. Right, yeah. So when you're on a plane, where do you put your wheelchair? Because you're able to sit in the seat. Um, I'm able to sit in the seat. They um, have it and want to, there's a big cabin space on the plane and they're able to fit my wilch or under it. Yeah. Where the pilot is? Yeah. No, not where the pilot is. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. No, wow. No. He has to fly the plane. That's a cool one there, okay? Yeah. But I guess there's a big storage space under the plane. They're able to put my yeah. chair down there. Yeah, that's right. George, wouldn't it be amazing if you and me got to fly on a jumbo jet to Vancouver? Oh yeah. All I gotta do is get two million. I wanna fly on a Boeing 747 someday. Yeah. Just Make sure to take me with you. Don't leave me behind. Right. Yeah, that would be fun. I did that once with a friend of mine. We planned it and we flew out just for uh, two or three days. Three days, I think. 
Make sure to bring Cliff along though, right? Well, yeah. yeah. Does your wife like to fly or? Um, well, not really. Um, her leg, she has a problem with her leg. She can't sit for too long in a vehicle or a plane. Else what happens? I'm not sure, but it's just not good. It's uncomfortable. Um, she has to keep it good if she has to, but only on a rare occasion. Like, does she get in pain or something? Yeah. That cougar was too bad because it's only an hour a year. Shoot, so if you and me and Cliff go back after our trip, I can just go back with my dad, right? From the airport. Yeah, that's right. That's not bad. No. George, mark my words, us three will do it someday. Sure. We can even go ride on some of the buses. They have new flyers like this. Well, exactly. We can check everything else. Like 2001s. And they sound just like our 77s. Some of them. It's oh, okay. crazy. Your sky train is really neat, too. It's up in the air, about 40 feet in the air. Yeah. Have you ever been on it? No. We could do that one day. Well, it's like a slow roller coaster. It's really nice looking down. I really enjoy that. I've been on it a few times. Is it wheelchair accessible? Uh, yeah, I would have. I could say yes. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Because there's people in wheelchairs that take that all the time. Well, that's it, exactly. Well, it has to be wheelchair accessible. You can't do anything to make the building in wheelchair accessible. Then transit will lose money if they don't do that. Well, it's really an earful from the public, too. Yeah. Well, that's the We'll go to some fancy restaurants, too. Yeah. We would have to book in a hotel or something. That's right. Well, we'll wait till we don't have to work now. I don't want to do it right now. No, not at all. Not at all. It wouldn't be fun, right? Exactly. Like, if we were on, uh, us three were all on a vacation together, I would want to go out for six or seven hours and just be free. We can put in a six, seven hour day, explore different transit routes, different buses. Yeah. yeah. And it would be nice to go to a restaurant and not wear a mask. And right now you can't even go into a restaurant. I wouldn't want that. That would be Hey, I wanted to ask you if we ever go there together, what's a good restaurant in Vancouver? Uh, Wendy's. Oh, I'm just kidding. Wendy's? <laughs> Give me a better answer than that. <laughs> no, um, I'm not really sure. Cliff would know. You might have an idea. I like meat a lot, so. Well, you like the meat? But I mean meat, like the food, like steak. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, that's nice too. <laughs> mm -hmm. You were so pissed off at that door earlier. You looked like you were gonna take it right off. Well, it's so frustrating. You know what? That's the dumbest thing I ever heard of. They put a magnet up front.
first out of service train, George. What's that? First out of service train they pulled and they start taking trains offline now. Well, we could do that because of the virus. Normally they wouldn't do that. But, but if everything was open, they couldn't do that till like 6 o'clock. No, that's always at least 6. That would be 6.30. Yeah. Man, there was a time. Back to uh... During Stampede, they can't take trains offline barely at all. There's not many out of service trains during Stampede. That's right. What were you gonna say? I left uh, Anderson to come to home, and uh, they couldn't take the bridle from Anderson Station. I was off work. It took me half an hour because the train. It was going to help us down people like for that thing. And because there were so many trains, there was only two trains in Brandon with station, so the train that I was on couldn't pull in. We had to wait till another one left. But it took half an hour. I think we had to stop at Fish Creek, and then we had to stop at the uh, people outside of Brandon. Oh, know? where the interlocking is. During rush hours, I had to do that a couple times. Yeah, yeah. And like, I'm wondering why we're stopped, but our signal's red because there's already two other trains there. Well, that's it. It took me half an hour to remember. Normally, that would be maximum 10 minutes. That was when the old U2 cars were still around. Oh, yeah. That was a long time to blow up our car. So they were only 20 years old. That's right. You couldn't run them for 10 more years with the condition they're in now. Well, not a good idea. Well, once uh, a vehicle gets beyond its lifetime expectancy, now you should either fully refurbish it or... Just retire, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. There's 178 there. Is that what he's waiting for? Uh, no. He's waiting for one coming in the other way. He's going out to uh, Lake Chaparral. That's his son. So does it do a similar loop like you do, or does it go all around Sundance? Uh, it goes all around Sundance. Yeah. But it's got a, a set route. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, it's like you need to a set route. The Chaparral as well, uh, right? Chaparral's quite a ways out from where I live. Oh uh, yeah, it is. And uh, Walden and Legacy are even further. I take the 4-4 four, four up there sometimes. The 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Okay, you ever been out to uh, Legacy? Yeah, I do 167, 168 out there. Oh, okay. We should do that one day. Sure, yeah. They sometimes put the Nova buses on there, or they put the buses like this from BP, or they put some buses out of spring on there. Oh, okay. Now, the 167 and 168, does that go down into the valley in, uh, is it Walden or Legacy? Uh, does it go down in that valley, or does it also turn away down in the valley? Uh, you're talking about Walden Valley Legacy, right? Yeah. It goes up Legacy, but I think... Uh, yeah, it goes per... It goes down the valley, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's where I'd like to go. I think 444 might go down there as well. Oh, okay. Except, yeah, it, except it's uh, shuttle. 
Chaparral Walden Valley. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the one. That's the one, yeah. So you would want to do that one. Except you have to sit down and hold my wheelchair because if you don't, it's a shuttle bus, right? And you know how bouncy they are. With these bus, you can kind of lay off. Like, you still have to hold on to me, but with the shuttle, if she breaks her and no one's hanging on to me, I go flying. Yeah. You know, I was reading about an accident one time down in the street. This had to be over 30 years ago. And uh, uh, the bus driver in Chicago, I believe it was. He was downtown, and you could hear the sirens, but you couldn't see the uh, emergency vehicle. And because the sound bounces off the buildings downtown. It and seems like it's closer than it really is. Yeah, exactly. And he hit the fire truck. I mean, he hit it. And one of his passengers was from the windshield and landed at the fire truck. Oh my god. <laughs> He didn't survive, I know that, the passenger. Probably not, I didn't hear. But uh, that's not good. Well, probably not. You know, these windshields, they do come out, but boy, I'll tell you. Hey, I wonder if they're investigating this one. Did it? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I guess already. Yeah, no. No, oh, they don't need anybody. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs>